is Alexander Babonza, also known as APAS. Now, since he got into the scene, the standard of Ugandan music has gone up. Is it a coincidence? Let's find out. Hello, APAS. How are you? Fine, how are you doing? doing? We're so glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure. Now, you've achieved a lot. Awards, Hollywood movie soundtracks, collaboration from some of the biggest Jamaican artists. What would you say in these stands out as your most proud moment and why? Having been recognized as an artist, it's never easy. The come up is one thing that I appreciate more than anything because without that, probably I wouldn't be here. And um, having the work ethic, you know, my proud moment is actually being able to do what I can do. And if it gets to where I feel like it should get to, I'm happy about that. So every day is a proud moment. The movie and no apology. Many artists get an allergy. The wagulu a lot of them me a pre-torture for the music in a oveni. We go and so I so a lot of them a see. We are so high. Body mo mo toka fe tuli kubigere. Tuli in the center za fe ziwele. Being at the top in the Ugandan music industry, are there any comments or remarks that were negative or discouraging that you've heard from, you know, people like presenters, DJs, even your friends? that you've gone on to disprove? Most definitely, every day is a day to disprove haters and fans. Uh, people who think you can't do it, you couldn't go any further, you know, or you've fallen off and all that. Because I keep working and they don't see. You know people can't attack what they don't see, but Ugandans actually attack what they don't see. But they don't know what they're attacking. So in the end, I keep working and uh, the work really challenges them because in the end, I shut them up. They keep quiet because there's not much to say. If you said I wouldn't make it and I did it, you know, it just gives you more understanding that you should relax and watch the professional do what he does best. Yeah. The two girl a win up in a the long talking Lighter put it up in a the dressing Torture, fireman with the kerosene Girl know we are the boy with the gasoline Everybody know me need a lighter So Apus, what advice would you give to a 27 year old Ugandan Who wanted to know his or her purpose in life? If people really concentrated on their lives Concentrated more on how to make themselves better It would be amazing If you don't mind your business and try to do stuff you are going to have a very big problem because you'll always be working for people and all that. So I feel like a young man should be very, very serious about their life and their direction at that age. As a child, did you listen to a lot of Jamaican music? And if so, did it have an influence on the style of music you have today? As a child, I listened to so much music. Listen to Bob Marley, listen to Lucky Dube, listen to Oliver Mama, listen to Red Rat, listen to Shaggy. Like I've listened to so many artists, so in the end, I feel like all this kind of vibe rubbed onto me. So it's not just like one genre, like Jamaican kind of reggae and stuff. It's everything, and, and I just blend it together and uh, make this sweet music. Because in the end, it's all learning, you know. Great, great teachers are great learners. You can never be that great when you've not learned from the great. So I've learned from the greatest. I've listened to so many people, seen what they're doing. I did not imitate them, I emulated them. Can you take us through your creative process? What steps do you go through to create a hit song? I just sit into studio and um, I listen to the beat if it's there. If there is no beat, I think about what I'm going to say and say it. But um, I listen to the beat and the beat drives me anywhere it wants to drive me. So I just, the songs write themselves. I just sit in there, be in the space, try to listen a lot to the beat, try to listen to what it's telling me, and then I respond. I'm just part of the instrument. I am an instrument as well. I'm the vocal instrument. So putting me onto all these other instruments like the piano, the synth, and all that stuff, it just makes me the complete addition to the beat. I'm just an addition. Note. What 
what is the most beautiful destination you've been to? I've gone so many places that I've gone to, not so, so many, but I'm, I'm always happy to be home. I'm always happy to be with my, my girlfriend. I'm proud of where I am, proud of my Uganda. I can be anywhere in the world, but the world, the home is, is the people I love. If I'm with the people I love, then, then I'm good. You mentioned something about your girlfriend. What aspects of your life do you think will change when you get married? I think more responsibilities. With every step in life, there, there are more responsibilities. Maybe if it's a very, very small step. But if it's a big step, marriage is not easy. But me, I believe I'm in marriage. I do not believe in a certificate and all that, just that. I believe in matching my loyalty with you. Not matching rings, not matching all these things. My loyalty with you is key. If we can actually vibe, we're good. I'm loving the way you move, but girl, you don't know. Any place where you go, my girl, you know I follow. Cause you know I'll die for you. Every time I say, yeah, yeah. Girl, you take me higher, higher. Cause you know I say you burn me like a fire. Until I love you, the taller we are. Bully chemo gamba, holy da. You are the one going to sue me Speaking of kids, are you going to be a strict dad or a lenient dad, seeing as you are a liberal thinker? I am a little strict about some certain things when it comes to values, and um, I'm also very, very nice at the same time, because my dad is a very liberal kind of person. So I feel like there's a balance of that, then there's a balance of seriousness, but uh, the seriousness cannot outweigh my niceness. I always want to be a very nice person. I don't want to beat kids or do anything like that, not even my girlfriend. I don't want to beat anyone. I just want to be having fun with people and enjoying life, yeah. So many artists have made the switch from rap, and you're one of them. Can you explain why? There is need for balance in music. You cannot just be rough. People want, probably, there's a stage where people will want something soft. If you don't have it, maybe at that moment, you may be losing up. You get me? So I feel like fans deserve to listen to soft music. They deserve to listen to hardcore music. If you can balance it and do it both, well and good. That's why I can do yalla, get tipsy, offer. Then, then I can sing still. She's all she. Because it's just good for a fan to listen to both sides. You know one akumite embera zona Kacha ya kabisi netumisa Ebi zibu vienzi nebi tusata Omuchalo musufu mbono Nalibute wa uyo 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 So can you name five artists that have changed the Ugandan music industry for you? I'm going to put three in one. Baba Cool, Chameleon, and Bobby Wine. They changed so much to change the industry. Afrigo, so much. And um, Paolo Cafelo, all these old guys who came through before even the younger ones. Artists like Steve Jin, you know, because he had the studio, he really changed the sound, bringing in the Blue Three who had a very different sound compared to whoever was doing stuff. Very amazing, Reddy and Weasel, who have changed the sound. So many people sing like Reddy and Weasel, which is great. It just shows how much impact there is from those. And I think I've also done my part, because for the last three years, there's so many artists who are sounding like me, who are using the same template like me, and they are making it. And finally, APAS, if you were to become the president of Uganda, who would you make your defense minister and why? I feel like the world needs more peace than, than, than all these posts. We have so many posts that are useless. We don't know even when these guys work. You know, we only need peace. We only need to be relaxed. I do not feel like there's need for a defense minister. What, what are we defending against? You know, I feel like it's politics in my view. Like people put up stuff so that they could share money and all this stuff. I feel like it's a money, money war, you know? So for me, I wouldn't have a defense minister. I would have a peace minister. We need more peace than defending ourselves. Yeah. Thank you for coming, APAS. 
that was the show join us next time for more tea.